Today, we're looking at Notion AI, and this is going to be the definitive guide for Notion AI. This took me lots of time and research, so I would appreciate if you liked this video. The description is gonna be chock full of chapters, so if you have any questions, refer to the description and you can find what you're looking for. For now, Notion AI is in alpha, so you will have to join a waitlist if you wanna access these features, and it's free right now. So once this goes public, they may make this a paid feature, but I just wanted to get ahead of the curve. And for those of you who do have access, you can benefit from this video. If you don't, I'm going to leave a link in the description to join the waitlist. So to begin, let's just hit slash and we're going to see all of our starter prompts here under see more. So if you want to do any of the following here, these are great ways to start out. They have outlines, social media posts, press release, creative story, and the list goes on. I'm not going to demo every single one of these because they're pretty self-explanatory and you can get into it and figure it out for yourself. But just as a quick example, let's try a pros and cons list. So I just recently purchased an NVIDIA 4080 and I wanna see what the pros and cons are of this graphics card. So I might type something like NVIDIA 4080 graphics card, Hit enter. And it's going to deliver some pros and cons and boom, now we've got some pros and cons. That's pretty neat if I do say so myself. One, as a personal assistant, but also as a way to write content. So if you're someone who does create content, this is just going to change the game for written content. So in that prior example with the graphics card, this is something that I'm personally interested in, but if I wanted to write some content, for instance, I could go ahead and hit slash, and then I could create an outline. And let's say I actually wanted to create an outline for a video, so I could hit enter and then write an outline about 10 ways to be more productive Hit enter and boom it's going to give me an outline for a video if i wanted to go over 10 ways to be more productive these could be my 10 ways not that i would personally use this but that's just an example of how you can use notion ai for planning a video now, this next one I'm going to show you is probably the most powerful feature within Notion AI, and that is Ask AI to Write. So I'm just gonna hit Ask AI to Write, and it's going to, again, pull up some of these starters, but we can just tell it to write about anything if we type in here. Write about the best dog breed for training and family friendly. I'm gonna hit Enter. And as you can see, it's giving me a comprehensive list of different dog breeds that are easy to train and they have family friendliness. Now, let's say I wanted a bit more detail here. I could highlight this and I could hit Ask AI and we could type continue and you'll see this prompt here, continue writing. So I'm going to hit that. And as you can see, it's starting to write it down here. It's not going to add this to my page yet. And you have a few options here. You can replace the current text. If I hit replace, that'll just replace what's highlighted. You can insert, which will insert it below the current text. You can hit try again if you want it to regenerate. I'll show you how that works. Try again. It's just going to regenerate. Or you can discard, which will get rid of this writing. I'm just going to hit insert, so it inserts it below my current writing. And boom, as you can see, it's added it right here. The next feature we're going to look at is summarization. So we can take a big article and we can make it a smaller article, easier to digest, easier to read, and saves a lot of time. So let's say we just wanted to go ahead and take this article that was written by AI and we just wanted to summarize it. Well, we would just highlight the entire thing. And by the way, you can do this with an article without AI as well, but you'd hit ask AI, and I'm gonna start typing summarize, and you see it here. I'm gonna hit summarize, and let's see how much this cuts out. I'd say that's pretty good. So it turned all of this text right here into a single paragraph. So it's a lot easier to digest. It even contains all of the dog breeds that it listed out, and just an overall shorter, but still thorough explanation of dog breeds that are easy to train and that are family friendly. Now let's go ahead and hit replace. It's kept it as an H1, so I'm just going to click right here and I'm going to change it to text. And the next AI feature in Notion that I'm going to show you is to find action items within a group of text. So you can highlight all of this if you'd like. And if you ask AI, you can type in find and you'll see this find action items. 
So if I hit find action items, it's just going to pull some action items out of this. So if I wanted to make this actionable and find myself a dog of my own, I could go ahead and hit that find action items. And as you can see, it's generated for action items. So research popular dog breeds, consider the breed's temperament, energy levels, and training capabilities, evaluate the different breeds, ensure the right breed, care, training for a wonderful family companion. So this is super beneficial and I think it's a great use case for AI. It seems to have done this a lot better than a human would be able to find these different action items in this text. So I'm just going to insert it below. So now I can check these off as I complete them and as I do my research. I'm also just gonna hit enter and I'm gonna hit slash type div, put a little divider between this. Now let's say I had a Spanish friend and they wanted to read this article as well that I've generated with AI. Well, what I could do is I could highlight it and hit ask AI and we can actually translate this. If I type translate, it's going to pull up all the languages that I can translate to. So I'm just gonna select Spanish and it's going to change the article to Spanish just like that. If there are any Spanish speakers in the comments, let me know how this does. I'm just going to discard this for now because I'm not going to be able to read this, unfortunately, so discard. The next AI feature that we're going to look at is explain this. So if I wanna highlight a bit of text, I can hit ask AI and type in explain this. And explain this is just going to just do that. It's going to explain what's being said here. Now, this is already pretty broken down because we summarized it. So explain this, I kind of think is similar to summarize in a way. So if I'm asking it to explain something that's already been summarized, uh, it's not really going to change it much. I don't see the point of doing this necessarily. But if you had a long bit of text and something really confusing, explain this could come in super handy. Next, I'm going to intentionally write a bad story and we're going to use the improve writing prompt to see if Notion can make it any better. All right, so this story has no real plot. I just wrote, there once was a boy who lost his shoe in the woods. He went searching for it and stumbled across a squirrel. The squirrel was brown. The boy found his shoe. Okay, so there's no real plot here or anything like that. I'm gonna highlight this and I'm gonna ask AI to improve writing. I'm going to hit enter and now it's going to say once a boy lost his shoe in the woods he searched for it and stumbled upon a brown squirrel eventually he found his shoe and although this story is still boring i think this sounds a whole lot better so i'm going to hit replace notice how it removed any redundant sentences in my story and it kind of just consolidated it and made it easier to read and digest now i'm just going to make some spelling mistakes because the next ai tool is going to allow us to fix grammar and spelling so I'm just gonna get rid of that comma there. I'm gonna change the spelling of boy, put some improper words in here, put a question mark in there, see if it can pick that up. Then let's overdo it with some exclamation points and let's get rid of the E and shoe. Let's see if it can pull from the context here. Okay, I'm gonna highlight it and I'm going to hit ask AI, fix spelling and grammar. And now it says, once a boy lost his shoe in the woods, he searched for it and stumbled upon a brown squirrel. Eventually he found a shoe. Okay, so it got rid of all the exclamation points. It did fix the question mark. It did not bring the comma back. I thought it would maybe bring it back, but that looks pretty good. I'm gonna hit replace. Now let's say we really wanted to kick our writing career off and we wanted to make this longer. Well, you can do that with Notion AI. You just highlight it, hit ask AI, and I'm just gonna type make longer, hit enter. And just like that, it's added some details to our story. Now it says, once a boy lost his shoe in the woods, he searched for it with determination, looking around in every nook and cranny, but couldn't find it. He was about to give up hope when he stumbled upon a brown squirrel. The squirrel chittered at him and pointed its tiny paw towards a bush. And when the boy looked inside, he discovered his missing shoe. He was so relieved and thankful to the squirrel who had helped him find it. So this is really, really good. Like it actually turned my story that had no plot into a story with a plot. And I think it actually did quite well. So I'm going to hit replace and let's highlight it and hit ask AI and let's make it longer again. Okay, so make longer, enter. And it's gonna add even more details. I'm gonna go ahead and replace that. So now it's even a bit longer. If I wanted to, this works the other way as well. So if I highlight it, I can hit ask AI to make shorter, hit enter, 
And as you can see, it's turned it into like four sentences. Again, this is similar to the summary feature, but I have a feeling that this one's not going to leave out as many details, whereas the summary might leave out some of the irrelevant things like the fact that the squirrel was brown. I don't know for sure though, it's something to test out for yourself. Now, this is a pretty simple story already, but if I wanted to, I could highlight this and hit Ask AI and just type simple. And as you can see, it says use simpler language. So let's just try that out and see how simple this thing can get. So it's a bit simpler language and actually it looks like it made it a little bit longer there. This isn't the best use case for simpler language. A better use case would be if you found an article online, use Notion Web Clipper or something like that to send it over to Notion and then use that use simpler language on it. For instance, if you had some scholarly article or something that you were trying to understand, that would be a perfect use case for this. Next, I'm going to highlight this and we're going to ask AI to change the tone. So I see it right here. I can also type in change. And if I type in change, you're going to see these five options, professional, casual, straightforward, confident, and friendly. So let's try friendly. So it's added some details here that I've noticed right off the bat. Friendly, brown squirrel. It also added an exclamation point in here, maybe a little bit more joy. Boy's delight, elated, squirrel with a big smile. So yeah, I think it, it did make it friendlier. It made it happier. I'm gonna hit replace and let's try one more of those. So I'm gonna highlight it, ask AI, change tone, and let's go with professional. <laughs> I can't imagine this story being professional. Oh, now it's the young boy was running through the woods when he suddenly realized he had lost one of his shoes. Yeah, this is, this is good, nestled among the greenery. I like that. All right, let's replace it. I like the professional story. Now, these are some pretty cool features, but if you're ready to take it to the next level, now I'm going to show you some Notion AI pro tips. Pro tip number one is that you can highlight any text, hit Ask AI, and you can literally ask it to edit it and do anything with this. So let's say I wanted to turn this into a chapter of a novel. I could just say, turn this into a chapter of a short novel hit enter and it's going to add this little header here and it's just going to start writing but it's not long enough so the next tip is that you can continue to tell it to change this prompt so as you can see down here tell ai what to do next i'm just going to say make this 1500 characters hit enter and it's just going to go to work okay how about 1500 words make this 1500 words. And as you can see, it's just doing a fabulous job of writing this story. It's even giving details about what the woods were like up here, talks about what happened after the boys on his way home. And this is crazy. He, he wanted to show his gratitude to the squirrel. So he brings back a basket of acorns, talks about how the squirrel and him became friends. Oh my gosh. Oh, and then it adds it adds some details in here. Hmm. Shameless plug for Notion, Notion AI. What's going on here? This story is pretty awesome, but I would definitely go through and do some editing if I were you before you publish this live. I'm going to hit replace though for now. That's awesome. I could write a short chapter for an entire book chronicling the life of this young boy and all the squirrels he meets. My next tip is to create tables using Notion AI. So I'm just going to hit slash AI, hit enter. Now, what do we want AI to write about? Well, let's have it write about those dog breeds. So I'm going to have it create a table with average weight, allergy status, and friendliness level on a scale of 1 to 10 for the five most popular dog breeds hit enter and as you can see it's it's doing a pretty good job and it's even uh pulling in the allergy status as well as the friendliness level i i think that's funny like how does it figure out the friendliness level right i think the golden retriever has to be a 10 though my next tip is to use save to notion to save articles to notion and then come back and summarize them so I found this article here, The Founder's Dilemma, and I really want to read it, but it's quite long. And there's these pictures in here that I want to export, but I don't want to read through this whole thing. So I'm going to hit Save to Notion, 
and I'm just going to hit clip page and now it's going to save to Notion. Now let's open that up. Now that we have our article here, we can highlight everything and we can actually have this summarized. I'm going to highlight everything except for that credit there. Hit ask AI to summarize, hit enter. And as you can see, summarizing it for us, making it super digestible. So now I can read just a few sentences and hopefully get a good idea of what this article was about. So now I can gain insights from this article and I can even just insert this below, maybe bold it and we can just write summary right here and we can turn that into an H3. So now we have our article that we clipped from Harvard and we also have our summary. My next tip is to create prompts that you can reuse. So this is something that I found myself going to Google for quite a bit when I was in my Notion workspace, and that's converting hours and minutes to an hour decimal because I actually enter a decimal of how many hours I sleep every night into one of my Notion databases. So what you can do is you can just create a toggle list, call it the hours converter. And right here, I'm just going to type convert 10 hours and 12 minutes into a decimal. Now this will serve as a prompt that I can reuse. So if I ever want to change this, I can just come in here and where it says 10, I could change it to seven if that's how many hours I slept and you know, 43 minutes. And then I can highlight this and hit ask AI and I could just hit convert, hit enter. And as you can see, it's going to tell me that seven hours and 43 minutes can be expressed as 7.72 hours in decimal form. So I would just copy that 7.72 and I discard that and then I can paste that into a database or a table or whatever I want. So you might have a question that you find yourself going and Googling often and this could just save you a lot of time overall. My next tip is to have Notion AI write some code for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit slash and I'm going to hit ask, hit enter. And let's say we wanted it to create a navigation menu using some simple HTML and CSS. So nothing too crazy, but let's just say create a minimalist style black and white navigation bar, provide two code blocks with HTML and CSS for this navigation bar. And on the far right side, create an orange button that when hovered turns blue. Also add a placeholder for a logo on the left side of the navigation bar, hit enter. And as you can see, it's given us the code, but it didn't put it in a code block. So I'm just going to say, put the HTML in a code block and put the CSS in a code block, hit enter. And boom, it's going to add it to a code block for us. So this is gonna be a lot easier to copy and paste. And now let's just use CodePen to test this out. So I'm just gonna hit copy on my HTML and paste. Now let's copy the CSS and paste that. And boom, as you can see, it's gone ahead and created us a simple header. If I hover over the button, it turns blue. And I could come in here and I could add a link to the button, youtube.com slash at productive dude. And let's change the button text to productive dude. As you can see, looks pretty good. I hope you enjoyed this video about Notion AI. If you want to see another AI video, check out this one right here. All right, we'll see you in the next one.